Hey, Awakening Hearts, welcome, welcome to Heartfelt Awakening Radio. I am speaking today with Michelle Gordon from Australia, but you're in New York right now. How are you, Dad? Yes, I'm great. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So I'm just reading your bio real quick here. Fascinating stuff. So you're a registered nurse in Australia. Yes, I've been nursing for 25 years. 25 years. Wow. I've been... um, doing uh interpreting in the uh medical field for almost 30 years yeah so i I know what nurses go through um respect oh yes you'd know all about it hey and you're a master neuro-linguistic practitioner programming practitioner so am i oh i'd love to really mm, talk some juicy stuff with you about that and um you hit rock bottom tell us about that all right so tell us about your spiritual awakening journey because that's what we're really all about is we all have these awakening hearts and it's like all right what the going on and then you discovered something so let's talk about that yeah yeah so I hit my rock bottom in 2000 between 2016 and 2018 I had a really rough journey through burnout and uh, nursing had taken over my entire life and I have three I had three small children at the time and a beautiful husband and I I was relying on alcohol every night to to get through I was anxious I was working seven shifts a week I was running around for everyone else and not looking after myself. And I had a couple of rock bottom moments where I, I woke up on the floor one morning after passing out from drinking way too much alcohol. And there was another moment when my little daughter was two and a half. And basically I woke up, I woke up and I realized that this wasn't the way I was meant to live and that there was something else bigger than me that I was meant to do and to to heal from that. And that happened just before 2018 and I very much started on, I guess, a spiritual journey and here I am now <laughs> living a really amazing abundant life. Bam, freaking fantastic. You, you mentioned something right at the beginning and um, it got me thinking, you mentioned burnout. What did that mean to you? Because it means so many things to so many people. So what did this burnout where, where you found yourself using something to get you through to that point of bottoming out, what did that feel like? It was a slow process of me what's what started as just ignoring and pushing through everyday life I'll just keep going I'll just keep going tomorrow will be okay to me starting to to um, I wasn't looking after my health I wasn't sleeping I wasn't eating or nourishing my body with food I was swelling up everywhere um I'd gained so much weight I was lethargic and then I started to cope with alcohol and that became this you know chronic I guess journey to burnout being stage 12 of burnout which is that end stage of mental physical emotional collapse and that's when I had that those two moments where I wondered in one of those moments I actually wondered if I had died (laughs) I was that low and sad and I didn't realize you know I I I kind of made I think a pact with the universe or God or or whoever was around and I said if you can get me through this and and I'll come out the other side and I'll 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 do something. I'll I'll make this work. I'll I will give back to to other people who are suffering like me. And that's what I did. I didn't realize there were stages of burnouts. 
that you were mm. at stage 12. Is there anything beyond stage 12? Stage 12. So is, you were yeah. at a yeah. threshold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What happens after that? I know the body starts to break down <laughs> when you're yeah. at a certain point of that type of stress. Yeah, absolutely. And stage so stage one is the pushing through part and just getting by. And then it goes right through to taking on other people's values, forgetting your own values and forgetting your own life priorities to um, ignoring your, your health, um, disconnecting from the things that used to bring you joy, right through to um, irritability, frustration, anger, and then coping with substances. So alcohol was was that for me. And then 12 being that mental, physical, emotional collapse. Wow. Yeah. And um, for the Awakening Hearts listening, let us know in the comments where you feel you are on this stage, on these stages of burnout. You know, one, just you're just showing up. You know, it's like, all right, I'm here. And everything gets kind of swept under the rug. Two. 12 being like right on that edge of you know maybe checking out I don't know what your plans were at that point but I mean yeah. you were unconsciously checking out for sure and yeah, I what was. you mentioned I wasn't meant to live this tell us more about that I I guess from a child, from, from a young girl, knew that the the world was a really magical place. I was manifesting. I had this really great connection with the universe and I could, I guess, what I now know is manifesting. That's what I would do as a young girl. And somewhere along my journey, I got lost and I got, I got, into really pushing and controlling and working really hard and and I had children and then I had to you know continue working but there was something inside of me saying this isn't it like Michelle this is not your journey there's let go and let go start to trust stop pushing and forcing and start to surrender and receive. And I hadn't done that. I hadn't connected with that message since I was that young girl. And this, I guess, burnout journey made me do that. I had to do that. There was no other option for me to, to keep going because I, I really did hit that, that end stage of, of burnout. Yeah. You mentioned something so important that so many of us mm, might be just lacking the skill of doing, and that's surrender and receive. What got you to the point of, all right, I give up, universe, just I accept whatever consequences. What got you to that point? I had nothing left to give. I had no other choice. My thoughts were at that last stage where I, I'm a mum of three children. I have a beautiful husband. I am either going to check out and, you know, this might be triggering for some people, but that was my thought. Do I just not do life anymore or do I surrender and give up all that I had done for the last, you know, 30 years or 20 something years and start to learn a new way of of living and a new way of being in touch with myself and 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 the world and that, that's what i did i just i let go and i started to look for signs around me to guide me and i started to see some signs and connected with with those to just guide and guide me through this journey and take me to the life that I'm meant to live and that life you are meant to live it looks like what you're doing and what you're passionate about is helping women to overcome burnout and help them create the life they love what does that look like yeah so I now have a, you know, a real gift with what 
my journey gave me burnout and and hitting that place of alcoholism and and my rock bottom to be able to connect with other women who were who were in that same stage of their life and since my um, journey I've gone on to become a coach and I've done all sorts of different modalities of healing and and therapies and and now my my gift is to really connect with those women and help them to come out the other side like me and start to trust themselves, start to surrender, start to receive, manifest, and all of those beautiful things. So um, one of your topics for discussion is people-pleasing and how us not surrendering and receiving is pretty much giving that power away when we people please. Is that something that, um, you know, as we work through more recovering people, please. <laughs> yeah. sure. Second oldest of eight kids, you know, it's like always people pleasing. So um, can you talk more about that? Yeah. So people pleasing is where, you know, you're putting everyone else's needs before your own and you're saying yes when you really mean no, and you're abandoning your own needs and your own values for other people. And that comes from, you know, lack of self-worth. That's what it boils down to is really that lack of, you know, complete lack of self-worth because other people, you believe that your needs aren't a priority or any, or important. And yes, it can be a learned behavior from from childhood, and it's a way to to regulate. It's it, unconsciously, it's a way to regulate our own feelings to feel safe here in this big wide world when other people around us accept us. And by got, bending over backwards and people pleasing and doing all of these things, we get we get that acceptance, and people, you know somewhat like us I guess or give us that approval which then feeds that oh I'm okay then I'm 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 worthy and I'm good but people please just have to do more and more and more and more for lots of people around them to to receive that um self-worth in the end and that can drive people right through to burnout that frustration and resentment yeah, because there is no people pleasing. You cannot please people no matter how hard you try, right? Until you please yourself, then it seems to follow through. Fill your cup first, right? So, yeah. darling, I saw that you are giving our listeners a freebie. Can you tell us about that? Yes. Yeah, so um, I have got um, a People pleasing ebook actually. There's, oh, cool! Um, Love yeah, it. so a free ebook. I can drop you the link, and for anyone who um, would like to have a conversation, I have got um, forty minute clarity call sessions where I help help women really navigate where they're at, what's happening in their life, what are the resistance, what are the blocks that are getting in their way, and and also to help them through to creating a life that they love. So I am have um, some spots available for your listeners for that call. And the ebook is available for anyone. Yeah. Awesome. So I have a link, um, the healthy, happy nurse slash authentic. Is that the, is that the one? That's it. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I have that one. Very cool. Yeah, we can definitely leave that in the description. And you can find Michelle Gordon on her social media. And we'll also leave that information in the description if you want to um, learn more about your programs. Very cool. Thank you. Um, you said you have an ebook, and that is the one about the people pleasing, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful ebook. It talks about the people pleasing or the origin um how to stop people pleasing how to learn to stop people pleasing and there's some beautiful journal prompts in there for some self-reflection yeah it's a definitely important because it's it's I find myself in a pattern it's like whoa I'm in this pattern <laughs> wait a second yeah. 
Yeah, it's very easy to fall into and, and it takes conscious awareness and tools and tricks and skill <laughs> to yeah. you know, undo that. Absolutely. Learning a new way, like what you said earlier, you had to learn a new way. We have to learn new yeah. skills. If we want to make changes, we can't keep doing the old things whole thing over and over again we have to learn the new skills and you know that's what that's what we do you know learning neuro-linguistic programming is a powerful way to talk directly to the nervous system very cool so what is the ebook called six ways to stop people pleasing and become your authentic aligned self yeah you definitely have to stop people pleasing in order to find out what you're authentically aligned to yeah for sure Thank you so much, Michelle. This has been a wonderful joy. For our listeners, their hearts are awakening. Would you have any um, ending words for them? Mm, well, that's a good one. Okay. Ending words is learn to trust yourself and learning to love yourself is really the key to unlocking abundance. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so glad our paths connected and uh, we got to do this. And Awakening Hearts, please let us know in the comments what you loved and what you would love more of. And in the meantime, keep being amazing.